Oh yeah, got lots of trees. These are 18 inches. These are 16 inches. These are 13 inches. 11 inches. There's eight of each. This is 20 gauge wire. This is 22 gauge wire. It's florist wire. I'm going to make the roots on this one about an inch and a half. So when I do the roots, I put a piece of masking tape on there so I can, uh, so the pliers will kind of get some the grip to. So these are all the, what I'm going to use for the roots. Now on a tree this size, which will end up being about 14 inches tall, um, I'll do about an inch and a half this way for the roots. And since I use 30, wires in this one I'll divide off six each and make five little feet that'll stick out
these three trees are they're kind of big I don't usually make all of them this big but um, I've measured them they're about 13 or 14 inches tall up to here and the branches might come a little bit higher so probably about 15 inches maybe but at 14 inches these trees on the O gauge would be um, well Alexa what's 14 times 4? 4? 14 times 4 is 56 these would be about 56 feet tall and uh, you know that that's average size of the trees in Ohio roughly around 60 or so we have some that are taller and some that are average shorter but on train layouts I don't like it when there's too many trees that are only about 20 feet tall I like to have some big trees and I think it looks good on the layout This is generic furnace filter from Home Depot. Use uh, cut to fit your furnace. So I don't have the wrapper because I got this a while back and I've already used part of it in my furnace. So this is the stuff that's left and I'll use it to make the branches for the trees. Okay, so I've got three trees ready, and I have enough branches, I think, for about three of them. They're all about this size, so there'll be a tree, there's a tree, and there's a tree. And I just um, tore apart that filter stuff until I had enough, kept going and varied the, the sizes and the shapes a little bit. and. Even if you do them all the same size, they're still going to end up looking different. Uh, another thing about this filter stuff, it has a backing net on it that you have to tear off before you do the, uh, before you rip all this apart. It has this backing on it. You just tear this off, and uh, I'm thinking this stuff, if you're going to be doing some hills or something on your layout, this stuff will be a nice mesh to put over your, um, you know, your under stuff that's going to be under the hill. You can tear that off and use that as uh, some landscaping stuff. Oh yeah, see how nice that'll work. Okay, the next step, I'm going to spray paint these black. I've had green filter material before. This stuff looks pretty blue, um, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to spray paint it black. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to video that, but when you spray paint it, since this stuff is like filter, you have to you have to move it around. So if you spray this direction, then you're going to have to turn this thing around, or else you're going to have big spots that don't get painted. Then spray this way and turn it all different directions. Make sure you spray paint all of it. All the branches are painted and all the tree chunks are ready so the next thing is to put them on one thing that's nice about these is that you can bend them around even after they're painted with that Mod Podge textured paint 
don't bend them too much, but if you just need to change the position a little bit. And then these things just hook right onto these ends of these wires. Here's how I put the leaves on. This is some stuff I got from the local hobby shop. And uh, we've got Woodland Scenics clump foliage. I just dumped it in coffee cans. Now, I'll break this up a little bit more. I like to have them a little bit smaller. I think it looks better for the trees. So there's dark green. These are This is Woodland Scenics. And this is Woodland Scenics light green and uh, I'll break that up a little bit too then I also got this which is JTT scenery products blended turf green blended medium this stuff is like grass ground cover but I'll use that on the trees and you'll see it, it, it does make a different looking tree. It'll look, it'll look pretty cool, I think. Now this stuff here, uh, this is the most expensive thing that I bought for these. These are like eight bucks a piece and this was like four dollars. And um, so that's like 20 bucks. And uh, probably could have got it cheaper online, but um, Sometimes I just like to help out the local hobby shops, keep some of them around. Now I also use, uh, use spray adhesive. And I've got this here, a little backdrop I'm going to spray in there and uh, spray them. And this plastic tray, I'm going to dump this stuff in here. Let's start with this dark green. Dump a little bit of that in there. This stuff is expensive, but I um, won't really use that much of it. And then I'll put it back, whatever's left, I'll put it back in the coffee cans. Okay, so I'll spray the tree with the adhesive and then just lay it in here and let it pick up some of that stuff. And then I'll probably also uh, drop some over top of it.
So there you have the trees. I make them all different sizes and shapes. Use different types of uh, ground cover or pump foliage. This is grass. I really like how this one came out. And then extra filter stuff. Make a bush. Have some little shrubbery. Put that around. The other thing I like about them, they're portable. You can move them anywhere you want. Which is good and uh, has its downside because a lot of times I knock them over. Put that in there. The other thing, I try to keep them kind of thin so I can, you know, there's layout spaces at a premium. So I try to make them not too fat and more thin so that, uh, like, they'll go in between my tracks. And uh, this just still adds some... You just put them wherever you want. And you can see I have trees. They're all over the place. Because if you're modeling in central Ohio, there's trees everywhere. And they're bigger than 20 feet tall. So these ones here that I just made, they're 15 inches tall, which will be about 60 feet to scale. Oh yeah, like lots of trees. <laughs>